Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. A little over a year ago, Ashley and I had the opportunity to go to Chicago with some friends. And we had not traveled with these friends before. We, we've been friends for a while, but we just hadn't uh, been on any trips together. So we didn't know what to expect. And we were delightfully surprised. We went out to awesome meals and we had the opportunity to, essentially we would order for the table. We'd order food and share it. We'd order wine or a few bottles of wine for the table. And it was just so relaxed and comfortable. At the end of the meal, we just said, all right, let's divide it three ways. This was us. This was our meal, not, uh, you know, kind of doing the math and pinching pennies and figuring out who had so much of what. It was just, it was refreshing. And I remember, uh, I think it was a couple days in, you know, we were gone for a weekend or so. And we went to uh, one of our friend's favorite pubs in Chicago. And I remember we sat and we had muscles like steamed in this pot and we had a couple of beers and we were just hanging out and sitting there. I was struck by the conversations we had because they were mixed with this like laughter and joy and sharing stories and, and laughing about the friendship and the things that we have had. And yet they also had this level of depth. I mean, we talked about some like real significant spiritual stuff or or things that we'd been struggling with we with we had some like vulnerable moments all in the same simple conversation in this pub in Chicago over steam mussels and beer and that's how every one of our meals were it's just for some reason on that like kind of cold January day it struck me that this is this is a way to experience depth and meaning in this life and I bring this up because we are finishing our series uh, based on Brene Brown's book, The Power of Vulnerability. And her final guidepost in her list of 10 guideposts is to cultivate laughter and to let go of cool. And I, it, as I read this book and I was thinking through these different opportunities in my life where I've had this like this richness, this, this depth of meaning that I crave in this life, it sent me back to this pub in Chicago that we were, we were intentionally telling stories and laughing and celebrating and while at the same time, we kind of let go of this pretense. We, we let go of this idea that we had to have it all put together or be perfect and that we could just let our guard down and we could let go of being cool. We could be truly ourselves beyond the, the stuff, right? The pretense of what people might expect of us. And this actually brings me to one of my favorite uh, verses in the Bible. It's uh, Matthew 26, 20. It's the moment before Jesus tells his disciples uh, like what is about to happen to him and before he sets up the idea of communion, right? The, the, before he says, this is my body and this is my blood. But the, the, such the unique part of this is in Matthew 26, 20, where it says, when evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the 12. And several other... Uh, versions of this, you know, maybe a couple say seated at the table or sitting, but the majority reference reclining. And to me, that strikes me that Jesus was in a spot with his closest friends and he had let his guard down. He was comfortable. He was still 100% Jesus, right? But he was so comfortable. And it, it, it kind of, as I picture the scene, oftentimes as it was brought to me and also when we, we present it in a church setting, you know, there's somebody on stage. I've been that guy on stage that says like, this is the body and this is the bread. And, and rightfully so. In that setting, you're a pastor giving a, a sermon of sorts. But the moment that Jesus had is he, it doesn't say that he stood up and he called for everybody's silence and attention. It essentially suggests that Jesus is spending time with his friends. He's hanging out and they're going back and forth between stories of what they had just done. Uh, maybe reminiscing about the, the time that they've had together as friends. And then Jesus has this opportunity to go deeper and share something. He, he lets go of this, this cool that sometimes we desire when it comes to faith. is like, there is this perfect, there is the right way to do it. And if Jesus had that moment, he for sure stood up and he made a thing of it. I don't think that that's what this is suggesting. Jesus is hanging out with his friends. They're reclining, they're, they're lounging, they're having a dinner like they normally did. And to me... The, the art or the, the way that we experience a, a deeper, richer, more meaningful life is to spend more time in this joy, laughter, 
reminiscing moment of celebrating friendships, but also letting go of some of that, the fear that we have about letting our guard down or letting people see some of our, the places where we struggle, the places that we question, or maybe even the things that we don't quite have figured out. And so this week in your faith, take a, take the page out of Jesus's book and spend some time with friends like reclining, lounging, hanging out, whatever that means in your life. Uh, be, be comfortable, let your guard down with your friends and be on the lookout for these, these moments where we experience more depth, more vulnerability. And as Brene Brown says, this uh, wholehearted living that we're all craving. So again, this week in your faith, let your guard down, let go of cool and celebrate with your friends. Thanks for watching Faith in Five. If you like what you see, please like and share. If you're interested in making a donation to our ministry, please click the link below.